Let's do some examples and see if we can figure this thing out. What is the mean molality of a 0.1 molar aqueous solution of Na3PO4? So remember the mean molality, that would be the M plus minus. That's the molality of the plus solution raised to the N plus times the molality of the negatively charged species raised to the N minus. And all this is raised to the 1 over N plus minus. Right, so let's figure out what these N's are and M's are. What we have to do is to look at our compound, Na3PO4. Put that in water, Na3PO4. Solvate that, that's 3 Na plus plus 1 PO4, 3 minus. So this is N plus. The 1 there is N minus. I guess I'm using subscripts here. N minus. N plus minus, remember it's defined as N plus plus N minus. That's equal to 3 plus 1 is 4. The solution concentration of the plus, uh, so initially the total here was a 0.1 molal. Oh, look what's happening. The solution concentration here is 0 0.100 molal. So the M plus is three times that, 0 0.300 molal. And the M minus, well, if you have a 0.1 molal solution of this, you only have a 0.1 molal solution. So I think we have everything here that we need to calculate M plus minus. So M plus minus is equal to M plus, that's 0 0.300 raised to the N plus, which was, that should be N plus, which was 3. M minus was, was 0 0.100 raised to the first power. And this whole thing is taken to 1 over n plus minus, which is 4, 1 fourth. We put that in our calculators, and what did I get? 0 0.228. So this is, if you want, an average concentration of ions, considering both the sodium ions and the phosphate ions. This is molal. Uh, the activity coefficient, uh, we're going to estimate these, of 0.3 molal solution of sodium is about 0.8. The activity coefficient of um, PO4 is around 0.1. So what's the mean activity coefficient? All right, so the mean activity coefficient, gamma plus minus, is the activity coefficient of the plus species raised to the n plus power, the activity coefficient of the minus species raised to the n minus power, and all this is raised to the 1 over n plus minus power. Uh, the problem gives the, for the plus, the activity coefficient is 0 0.8, 0 0.8, sodium has to be raised to the third power, that's what N plus is. Phosphate, the activity coefficient there is about 0.1, that's raised to the first power, and this is uh, the fourth, 1 over 4, fourth root, and this comes out to be 0 0.476. So the activity of the plus is 0.8, the minus is 0.1, and so the average activity coefficient of considering both species, is 0.476. And finally, let's calculate the mean activity. The mean activity was A plus minus. That was equal to gamma plus minus, which we calculated, molality plus minus, divided by M0, raised to the N plus minus. Gamma plus minus, 0.476. Average molality, 0.228. Our standard solution, or our standard state concentration is 1 molal. This is molal. Activity, sorry, this is molal. Activity coefficients don't have units. And this whole thing is raised to the fourth power. So the activity is 1.39 times 10 to the minus fourth. Whoa, that is low low concentration or low activity. We have like a 0.1 molar solution of this and we'd expect you know the activity to be around there. 
you know, at least not too far down. But in fact, for those ions in solution, the activity, the average activity, is 10 to the minus fourth. So wow, they're not very active. They must be, have a lot of interactions between themselves and with the water, as you expect for a charged species. That's it. For the next part of this lecture, we'll talk about ionic strength, the energy of formation of ions, and measurement of activity coefficients. And in lecture 14C, we'll talk about calculation of activity coefficients, and that will be it for equilibrium thermodynamics.